first at five, a new number to help understand the exodus from Mali. The Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement says more than 1,500 families have moved off island since the August fires. Mahal Andy Richardson joins us tonight with a deep level of concern. Mahia? Well, Keahi, Mayor Richard Bisson says 5,400 families were displaced by the fires and more than a quarter have left Maui. The county has been working with nonprofits like the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, and both say they're working hard to keep Maui families on island, but for many, it's been too difficult or expensive to stay there. The CEO for the nonprofit Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement says families leaving Hawaii has long been a problem, but made worse by the Maui wildfires. We believe strongly that there's over 1,500 families that have already left Maui. He says that figure represents people who have moved from Maui to other islands or elsewhere. In this moment, we are still in a crisis. We are still in an emergency. We need to get people housed so they can find stability, so they can return to some degree of normalcy. We don't know if that's permanent or temporary. We know they've relocated. Uh, they've gone somewhere other than um, uh, Lahaina, but we don't know if they are um, coming back. Mayor Richard Bisson says the county and its nonprofit partners like CNHA have been working to keep families on Maui. He says because of new tax incentives, there's been 1,560 conversions from short-term to long-term rentals. CNHA says it's housing 700 displaced survivors and hopes to have 34 units built by March or April. And it's costing us around $72,000 a day to house them, so it's not cheap. Um, but again, keeping our people in Hawaii is so important. And I knew that, that I could transition more easily than people with children. Two months after the fire destroyed Kathy Sicard's home, she moved to Kailua Kona. She had lived on Maui for 14 years and sadly believes that soon more people will be saying a permanent aloha to the Valley Isle. But I'm what? not surprised. I think that's a very small number. I think over time, um, the number will grow because there is no long-term housing opportunity for many people. Now, CNHA says it has a data sharing agreement with Red Cross and FEMA that cannot be disclosed, but it also has its own data, and that's where the 1,500 families figure came from. I'm Mahalani Richardson, Hawaii News Now.